L.A. Noir is an open world adventure game developed by Team Bondi and published by Rockstar. It's a game that bravely shirks the traditions of Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption by focusing more on its slow building plot and careful pace than on gunfights and open world abuse. While the game is most notable for its use of powerful facial animation technology, what is probably more striking is its well characterised mechanics. That is, as opposed to being the brave Wild West hero one moment, and shooting up a town full of innocents the next, L.A. Noir generally forces you to act in a way according to your character's personality, to the point where you can't even draw your gun unless the game tells you you can. I say generally because this is not always the case, gunfights are rare but when they do happen it's impossible not to notice your once vulnerable and human protagonist taking 20 shots to the chest and single-handedly wiping out a warehouse full of thugs. I can't help but feel that this game suffers from the same affliction as Deadly Premonition, a marketing department. Neither game needed combat sections but both of them included them for the sake of sales. Fist fights are perhaps slightly less incongruous. But given that these sections mostly boil down to dodging the highly telegraphed attacks and then mashing the punch button, this is hardly the most paced and thoughtful experience in the game. The open world is almost entirely superfluous and is mostly just a backdrop for driving between locations. Fortunately, you can skip all the driving sections. You drive! I need to go over the case notes other than the occasional car chase, but even though there are a handful of side missions to take, the open world feels like it was an inordinate amount of wasted work. The adventure mechanics that make up the meat of the game are interesting, although perhaps trawling crime scenes looking for spent bullet casings isn't everyone's idea of fun. I enjoyed it, but imagine those who spend all their time playing Call of Duty might feel it a tad slow. C. Galetta, railway receipt, pearl earrings, made out to Bank of Arcadia. So this game is ultimately a traditional adventure game not dissimilar to the console Telltale releases, with the occasional Gears of War break in between the pointing and clicking. I found it enjoyable if dissonant, and if my description of it in this video appeals to you, I suggest you pick it up. Your head. 50 Century in an Impossible 415 at Alvera Street Plaza.